In this video, we are going to see how to send mail to multiple users using Microsoft Office 365. So here, let's say that every time a new row is added in your Google Sheet, which is a spreadsheet that automatically you can send mail to multiple users through Office 365. Now, how can you do that? For this, you will have to set up some integration between the two applications and the same thing can be done using Pabli Connect software. Here, your trigger application would be Google Sheet and your action application would be Microsoft Office 365. Now, how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and as we do that here we have reached the landing page of this software. On the right hand side you can see two options sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user simply sign in. If you are a new user click on this tab sign up. It won't take more than two minutes and also at the time of account creation you will get 100 free tasks. So now I'm going to click on sign in here. Now as I do that, here we have reached the All Applications page. Let's click on Access now for Pabli Connect. And here we have reached the Dashboard. On the right hand side, you can see a tab Create Workflow. Let's click on this and a dialog box has appeared which is asking us to name this workflow. Now here my objective is to send mails to multiple users using Microsoft Office 365. So let's say that I have got certain details in my Google Sheet. Now using that, I want to send mails to multiple users. Now I'm going to click on Create. As I do that, here we have reached another window which has got two very important events. One is trigger, another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens, an action says do this. So as per this integration, my trigger application will be Google Sheets. Let's click on this. And here trigger event would be new or updated spreadsheet row. Here we have received a webhook URL which is going to act as a bridge for connecting Pabli Connect with Google Sheets. So I'm going to copy this and then we have to follow the following steps. So please read this carefully. I'm going to show you what we have to do. So here I have already created a sheet. The name of the spreadsheet is details and the name of the sheet is sheet one. And here I have the following fields, name, email address and contact number. Now to set up the connection between Pabli Connect and Google Sheets, we have to first go to extensions, go to add-ons. Here we can see get add-ons. Let's click on this. And here we have reached Google Workspace Marketplace. Let's look for Pabli Connect webhooks. So let's click on this. And here you can see that this particular application has already been installed on my system. So please make sure that once you install this, we have to close the window and refresh the page. This is an extremely important step. And once you have refreshed it, we are going to wait for a few seconds. And then we are going to go back to extensions. You would be able to see Pabli Connect webhooks. Then we are going to go to initial setup. Here you can see that the system has already selected the sheet and now this webhook URL that we had received, I'm going to copy this again, go back here and paste this over here. Then comes the trigger column. So the trigger column is the final data column on which the data is added. I'm going to add C. So the trigger column here would be column C. Now let's click on send test. So here you can see that the test data has been sent successfully. Now I'm going to click on submit and here we can see that the configuration is all set. Let's close this. Now there is another important step which is we have to go back to extensions, Pabli Connect webhooks and here there is send on event. So please make sure that you have checked on this. Why? Because if it this is not checked, so every time the workflow runs, it would never be able to send the response. That is why there has to be a tick mark on send on event. Once this is done, I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect. Let's see if we have received the response and here it is. So we have got the trigger column, the name of the spreadsheet, ID, sheet name. Then we have the sheet ID, row index, name email address and contact number. Now my objective is to send mail to multiple users. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down and here I'm going to select my application as Microsoft 365. So the action event here would be to send mail to multiple users. Let's click on connect. So here Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with Microsoft Office 365 account. So we have selected add new connection then connect with Microsoft Office 365. I have already logged into my account. So here you can see 
that it is asking me for the axis. Now let's provide the axis by clicking on yes. And as we do that, here we can see that the authorization has been successful. So once this is done, now the subject. My subject here is new lead received. Okay. And then once this is done, content type, it is plain text. Now the body content. So our body content is team. We have received a new lead. Now the details. So first of all, I need the name. So I'm going to map this. How do I do that? I'll go to the previous step and this here is the name. Then I need the email address. Let's go to step one again. And this here is the email address. And finally, the contact number. So again, I'm going to go to previous step and this is the contact number. Then I'm going to write regards. So this is the body content. Now here my objective is that I have received a lead and the details of this lead should be shared with different teams. So here I'm going to write multiple email addresses. Now I'm going to copy this because this is how you are supposed to write this. And now I'm going to write this manually. Why? Because this information is going to remain static. It is not going to change. So first of all here, I'm going to change this email address and it is going to be swati dot at pabli.com. Then again here, we are changing this email address to Okay, and then we have last one. So I'm again going to change this one as well, which is So here I have entered the email addresses. Now, if you wish to add CC and BCC, you, you can do that. I'm going to click on save and send test request. So as soon as we do that here, we can see that our application has been processed. Now I'm going to take you to my email address to see if we have received a mail. So I'm going to refresh this page. And yes, here you can see that we have received the mail. And similarly, we have received the mail on other email addresses as well. This means that our integration process is a complete success. But we also need to check this in real. So I'm going to take you back to my Google Sheet. And here I'm going to add another data, which is test user. And the email address here is test user at pablitudes.com. And then here we have the contact number, which is one. So once this is done, as soon as we have done this, what should happen automatically, we should receive another email. So I'm going to go back to inbox and refresh this page quickly. And yes, here you can see that we have received the mail with the new data. This basically means that our entire process integration process is a complete success. Now I'm going to take you back to public connect to understand what we have done. So this is an extremely easy integration where the trigger application is Google Sheets and the event here is new or updated spreadsheet row. The action here is Microsoft Office 365 where the event is sent mail to multiple users. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration that you wish to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.